All right. How to adjust mixture screws. Um, if you're not sure of where they were previously, you would, uh, before adjusting, put your screwdriver on them there and run them all the way down until it, uh, you know, don't force it, but until it gets, uh, tight. Now this is a junk carburetor, so it's, uh, idle adjustment screws aren't quite right. So we'll try to ignore that the current moment. So okay, imagine they're both all the way down. Now a good starting point is usually somewhere between two turns and two and a half turns out. So from all the way down, you know, don't force it, just take it all the way down until it stops. So two and a half turns out, one, two and a half. And you would do that to both sides. And then in, with doing that, you would know that they are both adjusted equally. One, two, and a half. So in a hypothetical sense, that would be adjusted where you could, you know, you'd have a good starting point from there. So, and as I said before, you know, try to adjust them so, you know, you should be able to hear your idle raise or fall. And then, um, you know, you want it where, you're, where you idle the highest is what you're after with these. So, um, and then your idle mixture screws should not affect your, uh, your driving because they're only at idle. They're only your mixture at idle. As far as, uh, leaning out while driving, that's a, or losing power while driving, that would be a, something separate, I would think, either, um, probably a bad power valve in your carburetor, because, um, if your power valve isn't working correctly, then you're not going to get enough fuel at hard acceleration, so, and, uh, that's your power valve right down there on the bottom of the carburetor. You would unscrew those and replace it. And the rebuild kit for these are only like 10 bucks. It's no big deal. So, I mean, if the rest of the carburetor works well, I would try replacing that power valve. But other than that, I'd say, you know, maybe bigger jets. But again, I don't know where you can buy uh, four jets from. So, because they're kind of an odd size. So, uh, I guess that's a good starting point with the idle mixture screws. Two and a half turns out, or two turns out, and run them all the way down beforehand until they stop, but don't, you know, really crank on them to tighten them. You know, once they stop, just let it be. It shouldn't be hard to turn. It should just get there and stop. So... That should be about it, but check out your power valve, you know, that's something to address. If you're losing power going up hills, that's the first thing I would think, actually. So, I hope that helps anybody who uh, may have a problem such as this with a two-barrel Autolite. <laughs> Thanks.